Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Today I bring to you the best Zenogre guide. All attacks, tips, and tricks. And now we have a ton to cover here because this thing has so many freaking attacks, it's ridiculous. But first we're going to start out with the monster guide entry as usual. It is a fanged wyvern species and it is found in forests and swamps. Its elemental attack is thunder and its elemental weakness is ice. Its breakable parts are its back, the left horn, the right horn, the forelegs, and its tail but its sever only. And moving on, here are Zenogre's main characteristics. It is characterized by its yellow-coated carapace. I think the monster guy was just trying to be fancy. Its electrical energy is gathered from nearby thunderbugs, and its useful information is it often attacks rapidly, and it becomes more aggressive as health decreases. And it frequently generates electricity and goes into a supercharged state when it is built up. So basically, this thing goes Super Saiyan. Alright, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, you know exactly what that is, and that's not Super Saiyan 2, that's Super Saiyan 3. At number 1 though, for Super Saiyan 1, we have Zenogre's attacks, which is the headbutt, and Zenogre will try to headbutt you, and it has one signal. Zenogre will stand tall and tilt its head to the side. You can dodge just by rolling left, right, or backwards once. Note, this attack has a short range, but it is lightning fast, so be ready to dodge right away. At number 2 for Zenogre's attacks, we have the Claw Smash, and Zenogre will try to smash you with one of its claws, and it has one signal. Zenogre will stand tall and raise one of his claws. So right here, as you see, it's going to raise one of his claws and then bam. You can dodge this by rolling left or backwards. Note, this attack has a long windup, so it's pretty easy to dodge. So just keep that in mind. And at number three, we have the signature shoulder ram attack. Zenogre will try to ram you with its shoulder. And as one signal, Zenogre will hop back on its side before it attacks. You can dodge this by rolling backwards multiple times. Note, this attack has a long windup, so it's pretty easy to dodge just like the previous attack. As you see, bam, it will jump, hop back, attack, and boom, you can dodge it. And moving forward, we have attack number four, which is the Pouncing Crush. Zenogre will pounce at you and try to crush you with its body. And there's one signal. Zenogre will squat back on its legs before it jumps at you. It's really easy to notice. As you see here again, as we replayed, bam, it squats back on its legs, and then boom, it's going to jump. You can dodge this attack by rolling left or right multiple times. And at number 5 for Zenogre's attacks, we have the Tail Swing. Zenogre will swing its tail and sweep the area. And as one signal, Zenogre will look behind it and raise its tail before it swings it literally just like almost every other monster in the game. You can dodge this by rolling backwards or left or right at the right timing of the Tail Swing. And here's an important note, after it does this attack, Zenogre will jump backwards afterwards. So as you see in this example, as you see Zenogre will look behind it raise its tail, and swing, and then as soon as it is done with that, it shall jump backwards. So just be ready for it, it's going to do some distance, and be ready for its next attack that Zenogre is going to perform. And at number 8 for Zenogre's attacks, we have another tail attack, which is the Tail Smash. Zenogre will do a backflip and smash it with its tail, and as one signal, Zenogre will hop out forward and turn its body, so boom, it hop forward, turns its body before it does the backflip. You can dodge by rolling left or right multiple times, do not roll backwards. If you roll backwards, you will find out this thing actually hits, has a really long range for its tail, and it's going to suck a lot. What's better than two tail attacks? Three tail attacks! And at lucky number seven, we have Zenogre's tail whip attack. Zenogre will hit you with its tail like a whip, and it has one signal. Zenogre will turn its body to the side, swing its tail high before it whips the ground. You can dodge this by rolling left or right. Here's the note though, this attack has a pretty long wind up time so it's pretty easy to dodge. As you see here it takes a little bit before it winds up its tail and slams it to whip you with it so there's a long wind up time. And now the coolest thing about this monster but it sucks for us is because this thing has a mo change. Zenogre's mo change is the supercharged Zenogre. Once Zenogre charges enough from the thunderbugs around it, it will transform. And as one signal, Zenogre will get struck by lightning. It literally gets struck by lightning. It's hard to miss. Note, this mode change will do no damage to you if you're up close to you, but it will stun you like you see in the example. And here's an important note, Zenogre's attacks will be a lot more powerful and aggressive in this form. So expect to experience hell after it transforms. And because I love Dragon Ball Z, we're going to call this Super Zenogre. Super Zenogre's attacks, more attacks, and at number 1 we have the Charge Headbutt. Super Zenogre will try to headbutt you and has one signal. Super Zenogre will stand tall and tilt its head to the side. You can dodge this by rolling left, right, or backwards once. 
No, this attack is much faster than its Snarch Charge version, so just be careful when you're trying to dodge this attack. And at number two for Super Zenogre's attacks, we have the Charge Claw Smash. Super Zenogre will try to smash you with one of its claws, and as one signal, Super Zenogre will stand tall and raise one of its claws. The claw will be charged with lightning. You can dodge this by rolling left or backwards, and here's a note, this attack is faster than the original version, but still has a long windup. But here's an even more important note, Super Zenogre can use this attack from both sides and may combo by doing a 1-2 charge claw smash. The most I've seen it do this attack is 3 times in a row, so be careful as it might follow up with another one right after it does 1 charge claw smash. Moving forward, we have this super cool acrobatic attack from Super Zenogre at number 3, the front flip claw smash. Super Zenogre will jump in the air, do a front flip, and then smash the ground in front of it with one of its claws. It has one signal. Super Zenogre will scrape the ground in front of it with one of its claws before it jumps in the air. You can dodge this by rolling left, right, or backwards multiple times. And here's a note. Zenogre will do a slight pause before it scrapes the ground with its claws. So it will take, it will literally, uh, Put its, put its palm down and then it will sweep the air. So that's a good chance for you to dodge and a good signal for you to dodge this attack. And now a lot of these attacks are going to be the same from his original version, starting off with a charged shoulder ram. Super Zenogre will try to ram you with its shoulder and as one signal, Super Zenogre will hop back on its side before it attacks. You can dodge this by rolling backwards multiple times. Note, this attack has a long windup like the original version, so it's pretty easy to dodge. As you see right here, it's going to hop on the side but it takes a minute before it actually does the attack so it's really easy to dodge this attack still. And number five we have a charge pouncing crush. Super Zenogre will pounce at you and try to crush you with its body and as one signal Super Zenogre will squat on its legs before it jumps at you and you can dodge this by rolling left or right multiple times. Note this is the same exact attack as its non-charge form so it doesn't really change it's just a Super Zenogre instead. And that goes on to another similar attack the charge tail swing. Zenogre will swing its tail and sweep the area and as one signal. Super Zenogre will look behind it and raise its tail before it swings it. You can dodge by rolling backwards or left or right at the right timing of the tail swing. But here's an important note. Zenogre will jump backwards after this attack and this is the exact same attack as its non-charged form. And another repeat at lucky number 7 we have the charged tail attack from Super Zenogre. It will do a backflip and try to smash you with its tail and as one signal. Super Zenogre will hop and turn its body before it does the backflip. That's a dead giveaway. Boom. Hop. Backflip. Bang. You could dodge by rolling left or right multiple times, but do not roll backwards. That's why you saw me take damage right there, because you don't want to roll backwards. It's going to suck if it happens, because its tail has such a long range. And finally, we have something new. At number 9, we have the Charged Cannonball. Super Zenogre will jump in the air and do a cannonball to crush you with its back. And as one signal, Super Zenogre will howl before it jumps in the air. So if you see this example, boom. Puts its legs together, it will howl, and then it jumps in the air. You can dodge by rolling backwards multiple times. And here's a note, this attack has a long windup so it's easy to dodge. And another important note, after this attack, Zenogre will be vulnerable for a good amount of time as it tries to get back up. So as you see, it struggles and the struggle is always real. And before all the struggle to get up on its legs again, you have a long period of time to attack it. And at number 9 for a fancy move, we have the Breakdancing 360 Tail Flare. Super Zenogre will sweep the air around in a 360 degree motion. I used to break dance and if you know break dancing, it's a one handed flare and it has one signal. Super Zenogre will slightly lift one foot off the ground as you see here and roar with its head to the side. You can dodge this by rolling backwards multiple times. And here's an important note. As fancy as this attack looks, it's actually pretty easy to dodge due to the amount of time it takes for Zenogre that Zenogre does before the handstand. So you see that literal step and that roar it takes a while before it actually launches off the ground so you have some time to dodge before this attack and man we really did hit double digits at number 10 we have super zenogre's charge tackle attack super zenogre will try to tackle you by running towards you and it has one signal super zenogre will squat before it tries to charge at you so right here you see the squat and bam it's gonna start charging towards you you can dodge by rolling left or right multiple times so again, the dead giveaway is going to be, it's going to squat. Here it is, squat hunched over and bam, it attempts to run you over like a freaking Ferrari or something like that. And last but not least, we have its ultimate attack, the spinning thunder orbs at number 11. Super Zenogre will summon four thunder orbs that will spin and spread on the arena. And as one signal, Super Zenogre will turn to its side and jump in the air while spinning. So as you see, bam, turn to its side and then it jumps in the air, releasing these four orbs of lightning. You can dodge this by rolling forward at the perfect time, but here's an important note, this attack is really hard to dodge. 
You have to have perfect timing when you roll forward or perfect evade the orbs in order to dodge this attack. Oh, you thought we were done now. We got one more. We got the roar. Zenogre will let out a roar that stuns you. The signature roar, of course, it wouldn't be complete without it. And it's one signal. Zenogre will literally pause for a second and raise its head in the air. So it's going to pause for a sec, raise its head in the air before it lets out the roar. You can dodge this by rolling at the perfect time. But good thing to note is that this attack does no damage and has no follow-up after it so just keep that in mind and here are my Zenogre tips and tricks Zenogre is very vulnerable when it's gathering electricity from thunderbooks to transform so it takes a second before it actually transforms when it's gathering energy from thunderbugs so use that and take use that to your advantage and do as much damage to Zenogre as you can it usually takes two or three charges before it turns into super Zenogre so two or three charges it will all is all it will need for Zenogre to transform super Zenogre is very aggressive and will usually chain multiple moves together. Just like in the Claw Smash example I gave you, it can, it's gonna chain moves like No Tomorrow. It's gonna be like a Street Fighter. It's gonna basically be like Eddie, Eddie Gordo. It's just gonna button mash and do a lot of moves. Attacking it doesn't seem to kick out of its supercharged state. I try to break its limbs, etc., but it doesn't seem to kick it out of its charged state. Hopefully this guide helps you take on this boss monster for Huntathons and in the future. So they have the future updates and Zenogre is going to be a feature of the Huntathons. So hopefully it improves on that and hopefully this guide does help you like I mentioned. And this guide took a while to make because Zenogre has oh, so many attacks. This thing has more attacks than Diablos, Black Diablos, Pink Rathian and Rathian combined. So with that being said, please do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe, and comment for YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it considering again it took this long in Zenogre. You're gonna probably use this guy a lot for upcoming Zenogre Huntathons. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.